All right, yo, what's going on, Split Mind people? It is your boy Q. I'm back again with another video for you guys. Before we get started, if you guys could go ahead and hit that like button for me, just because that helps push this video to more people that actually want to see stuff like this. And then also drop a comment and let me know what you guys actually want to see next for me. I know I've heard of like a lot of different things. I know you guys want to see some beat making videos. Some people want to see the vocal mixing stuff, but just let me know what you guys want to see. I'll be sure to make that. Also, I got this little idea. So you guys should know by now that I dropped my new kit full circle, the multi kit, which is a loop kit, a drum kit and a one shot kit all in one. And of course, there's a bunch of other stuff just mixed in between like FL Studio mixer presets, some MIDI patterns and a bunch of other things like that. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this little secret giveaway. So it's going to be a split mind channel exclusive. Basically, how this is going to work and be super simple. So what you're going to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram. And what I want you to do is guess what sport I used to play in high school. First person to do this, I'll just base it off time. So the first three people to guess that sport correctly will get that kit completely for free or if you're a big mind you pockets. pockets are deep rolling you already know just head over to drumify.com link in the description top of the description below and you can cop that right now but enough talking let's actually get into the video so in today's video i'm going to be doing something a little different something i don't usually do i'm going to be showing you guys how to make samples like cute beats for travis scott so we know travis scott has got an album drop in this summer so my idea was just kind of create some kind of vibe that would fit on that album so without any further ado let's hop right into it All right, so as you can see, I got FL Studio pulled up right here. And the first thing you might notice is I have the BPM set to 83. And I was pretty much just working in half speed just because the actual BPM of this would be like 166, just uh, double 83. But it's just a little easier to work in half speed sometimes. So here's what we're going to be making today. So let's just uh, go ahead and break this down. So to start this out, I actually started with this analog lab sound right here. It's from this band called Devil and Synth, and the preset is called 49, 493 Ghosts. And I just played this pattern out right here. It is in the scale of C minor, and it's just these two chords right here, two simple triads. This same chord right here, but I just brought that middle F note up an octave. Cool, so yeah, that's the first sound. And then I just pulled up, I believe, we did next was this sound right here and i basically took the chords that i played on that first original sound and i just strummed them and kind of made like an arpeggiator and it's from the same bank but this preset's called dark matter and when you play that you get this sound there that was just super spacious and it kind of added vibe together and then the next sound i played was this right here but I th oh yeah so i played this which is from the same exact bank as before the preset is called mayweather and it sounds like this and what i noticed with this is it kind of sounded a little like too christmasy and you'll see that i changed that up a lot because when we played the original sample it doesn't even sound like that that much but I will get into that later. So the next sound I actually played was just a simple, actually it was this flute. But I forgot I completely took that out, so we're just gonna skip over that. And then the last sound is just this bass, and it sounds like this. Yeah, super simple. And then basically what I did is I took the, all those sounds, which is these sounds right here, and I just rendered those out. So you can see this, this first one was actually this sound right here. And what I did is I just reversed it and I brought the pitch all the way down 12 semitone thing and uh, it sounds like this now. And then I really didn't do anything else to the sounds and we had a bass layer that sounded like this already. Basically what I was feeling next is I just, I felt like this could use like some kind of vocal texture to it. So I pulled out the mic, this bad boy right here, and we just put some auto tune on and I just started like mumbling some random stuff. So like literally if I pull all the effects off, yeah, so it sounds like that. But when we add some auto tune, a little bit of compression, some EQ and a bunch of other effects, we ended up getting this. And when you mix the bass layer we had originally with that vocal, you get this. And 
And then since I had the preset open already with the auto tune on it, I just added a little bit more vocal and kind of did like a little singing thing here. And basically I just EQ'd it out a lot. And I brought uh, this effect on there called Vocal Bender by Waves. I just brought the format down, which is basically like the tone of your voice. So it doesn't change the actual pitch, but just the tone of your voice. And uh, that sounds like this. And then finally, I literally kind of just like beatboxed into the mic and then chopped it up and uh, let's see, what did I add to this? I added that to 13 and we just auto tune on it for some reason, but uh, a little bit of compression, some EQ, lay, and then some reverb and it sounds like this. Also just brought the uh, tone also just brought it down a whole octave and then everything together ended up sounding like the sample. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was a little bit different for me. I actually kind of just broke down the sample. It was already a pre-made sample and I just broke it down and showed you guys how I made it and I'm not even gonna make a beat behind it. If you do want to see how I will make a beat behind the sample, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know and I'll actually do that for you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to test out this new format. Also, the sample is going to be available for download. Just look at the top pinned comment below. It'll be a Dropbox link. You can download that and do whatever you want with it. As always, all my kits are available at drumify.com slash producer slash Quentin dash Bobbit. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.